Welcome everybody to the watch list, your virtual weekly TV guide right here on the Latin Nerds Network. Ready to go over all the shows and films, documentaries released on streaming over the past week. Give you our best recommendations or non-recommendations as the case may be. And of course, at the end of the show, letting you know what's coming out so you too can create your very own watch list. And as always, joining us to uh, go over these shows is the Senor Jaime, a.k.a. Chewy, what it is, what it was, what it shall be. What it will be, brother. What's going on? Besides enjoying this nice little breakfast treat, apparently. <laughs> of course, man. Share, sharing is caring, dude. Hook me up, man. Breakfast of champions. Clums. <laughs> nah, nah, that's okay. It's some, today's, today's <laughs> eggs and pancakes. I don't know, really, but whatever. Wishful thinking of my end. But either way, we're going to get started. We're going to do a show in two parts. First part, we'll do a quick take since most, most of the shows got released. Not to spend too much time with them. And then we'll do our feature section at the end of the show feature one or two shows this week we're going to fe feature one which we'll discuss uh in further detail a show that's worthy of discuss for a deep dive discussion etc so let's get to it Chewie. not a big week so make things a little bit easier we'll start off mm -hmm. with uh, beacon 23 and this is all you because that's a show that i don't watch it's on mgm this season two with uh miss cersei of course king of thrones sci-fi show um i assume only one episode drop i'm not sure at mgm does it yes but, you know what uh what say you and this is on the watch list for yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I enjoyed season one. This is uh, that made both seasons back to back, oh. originally through AMC. Uh, I'm not sure if Cersei is alive anymore. <laughs> that's that's to be determined. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, she died at the, supposedly at the end of uh, uh, season uh, one, and so okay. uh, obviously we only got one episode. But yeah, yeah. I'd say if you enjoy season one, watch season two. Fair enough. Next one, unlocked. This is a uh, unlocked a jail experiment. This is uh, more of a reality show. I guess, document, not document, reality show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. About eight episodes, 30, 38 minutes, pop, pop, more or less. This one here, uh, so I forget, I think it's Little, Little Rock, Arkansas. I don't know, some detention cell. In Arkansas, it's somewhere, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, a particular, you know, I guess, uh, section of a detention cell, and a sheriff has an idea to give the inmates the autonomy <laughs> to kind of try to live as society wish I had them live, right? But that means no guards, the doors are open, unlocked at all times, and they pretty much take care of themselves. Well, to, to, to their cells, right? Let's not say they oh, yeah, but then they can't go inside within, within the actual facility, right? So yeah. it's normally, it's 23-1, it's 23, 23 hours lockdown, one hour of freedom, right? So they give them full freedom and all the privileges depending on how they behave, and, you know, he's going to see how their program goes, and, of course, with you know, a bunch of inmates, let them run the asylum. Things don't always go the right way. Um, interesting idea. Um, not a big reality show guy, but this is kind of interesting and different, uh, unique because it deals with you know we don't normally see this. We've seen the reality shows more, you know, whatever dating shows or whatnot. Um, but I enjoyed it. It's an interesting experiment and going through it. So I say put it on the watch list, Chewy. Yeah, I mean I found it to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, trying to, I guess the sheriff is trying to. Uh, I, I know, come up, uh, and it's not really a, that radical an idea, but it is to to U.S. Uh, uh, prison uh, uh, industry, I guess, uh, as far as as far as you know, doing something different to try to stem the amount of repeat offenders, right? And because obviously they they ran through some numbers, and, and it's just ridiculously high. Uh, as people who are incarcerated and come back within a certain period of time. And, and so he pulled some things that are done in other, in Europe and other countries and, and tried to apply it here to see, to, to, to obviously it's, it's a, it's a, you know, big tactical shift in the mentality and thinking of how we deal with, with criminals and incarceration. Um, and so he's just trying to bring out there's a better way to do it both from a safety perspective, but obviously for society, because they have to come out at some time. You can't just keep them jailed indefinitely. And so, how do how do you how do you uh, change their behavior so they become at least a portion a portion becomes contrary members of society? Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's different a different kind of show. So uh, that's out now, of course, on Netflix. Uh, mm -hmm. Next one, Anthracite. If I'm saying that right, this is a, a French show. It's damn French. Sacre bleu. Um, sacre bleu. French fries, all that yummy shit. Uh, this one here is kind of a mystery thriller. We have a, a young girl who's very quirky, a tech savvy, but socially awkward, who's trying to find her father, who's a journalist who disappeared when he kind of reopened an investigation on a cult that happened back in the 90s. A cult where, you know, I guess all the members were killed, suicide, murder, who knows. Uh, so now she's hell-bound to finding where her father is at and un unlocks his mystery. It always goes deeper and all that. Uh, Chewie, uh, 
on watch list or not? Pass. I, 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 I mean, I, I gave it an episode and a half, and it just, it just wasn't for me. Yeah, agreed. It's kind of weak, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I guess I, I'm not a huge fan of French shows, but we have, you know, obviously, what was the other one? We had Lupin. Fury. Uh, Fury. Oh, well, well, Pan. Yeah, Pan. Lupin, yeah. Lupin. Which we, um, we are like, yeah. This is good. But yeah, this one just was, it's very generic. Um, and yeah. the girl's kind of over the top, to be honest. So, yeah, yes. pass, pass on yeah. this one. Uh, next one, Apple Plus. I get excited when I hear that. We got Franklin. Where's Michael Douglas uh, playing Benjamin Franklin, right? Um, focusing on about 1776, I don't know, right? Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the Revolutionary War, of course, he was sent over to France to uh, persuade the French to, I think these French people, man, what's, what's going on this week? Uh, persuade the French to join uh, in arms against the British, which, of course, and obviously was what occurred back in the day. Of course, that it helped. It, they were instrumental, of course, as getting our freedom and all that. So it's focusing on that part of his life. Um, three episodes dropping, um, enjoying it. Uh, on the watch list, it's not great. It's good. I, Michael Douglas is great in it. I really like him. When he's not in the show, his show kind of goes down a little bit. You got a little bit of his grandson. He, he be focusing on him. He's part of the show and all that. And he's obviously weaving in and out of the bureaucracy. Well, I guess the politicians in France who don't really want any part, want to stay out of it, out of the conflict. So he's got to do his best he can to bring him on board, or we're gonna lose. Um, good show. Like I said, well made, well produced. You know, obviously not surprises. It's it's Apple Plus. So I say put it on the watch list, Chewy. Yeah, I agree. It's a good show. Not great. Uh, personally, I like Manhunt a lot better uh, than this Agreed. one. Agreed. That one has one more episode before the ending. But uh, still, still a good show. Interesting. Obviously, well made. Yeah, period piece. Obviously, 1776. And Vive la France. So it's still, at France is still a, a uh, what is it, uh, meritocracy? No. Yeah. Um, With the monarch. But yeah, that yeah, yeah, monarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So King Louis, the whatever. <laughs> Mm-hmm. At that time, so that, that was the that was the issue, right? Because when we were thinking about the republic, we were, we were trying to reach out, get help from 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 the monarchy, and and there were some people within it that did, some that did not, and so it's always a it's it's a more political theater, right? The, the espionage is going in and out, dealing with several factions within France that get help, money, arms, soldiers, whatever, to help us fight the British. But uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, good. Now, so. Let's go to a feature. We have one feature this week, and that's Fallout, uh, which is uh, on Amazon Prime, dropping all its episodes, which we were concerned about. We talked about last week. It's not a good sign when they drop all the episodes at once. Um, no, and, it is not. But easy, and unless, but, unless you're Netflix. <laughs> well, right. Netflix notwithstanding. But, you know, even we've seen uh, Amazon go the weekly route, you know, two or three episodes, kind of like Apple Plus, right? The same thing on HBO. But this one, Fallout here is based off the video game, of which I know of. I've never played it. Um, from what I understand, you don't even have to really play the game because it's not really. It takes elements from the game, right? The, as far as the basics, but the storylines, mm-hmm. not nothing really from the game. But that being said, yeah. uh, it takes place, you know, obviously some post apocalyptic time frame, 2000 something. 200. Some, two, I'm sorry, yeah, 22. 200 years uh, yeah. from Shadowbound. Um, yeah, yeah there's obviously the, in the war now, which is, you know, in the aftermath of nuclear war back in, I believe, it seemed to be like the 60s, well, a version of the 60s anyway. Yeah, and, 50s and 60s, I believe, because yeah. you look at the, I look at the TVs and the cars, right? And right, right, exactly. Sets so, the, yeah. the time frame. Yeah, even because that's often the 60s in the show where the bomb exploded, right? The first big mm-hmm. Russian cloud and, you know, so, but that being said, now it's a world where, you know, this kind of a wasteland at the top, uh, savagery to say least, uh, lawlessness on top and mutants and you have the focus, and this really focuses on three characters. We got the young girl who lives um, in these shelters. Is that was the word? She's, she's, a, she's a Balti. Or yeah. Referred to as Balti. A Balti, right? She lives in the vault, and they're very isolated. And you know, they, they have because it happened in the sixties or fifties that they still have that, you know, sensibilities and how they speak and how they act and things like that for the most part. Uh, but they're abiding the time to it's safe to come up, right? To you know, teach the world. Reestablish. You know, yeah, reestablish society at some exactly, point. Exactly, because they, they don't know how it's, what's really going on. We got a young uh, man who... Maximus. Is, Maximus, who's part of this uh, it's kind of this brotherhood, is what they call it, and they kind of enforce, you know, uh, it's not a police, not the right word, but... It has, it has a very religious sect feel it does, to it. It does, but they're out there right. trying to keep, keep things in order for the most part, right? I, well, I, To a certain degree. To a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah, to some degree. And then we got this guy, the ghoul, of course, is played by um, Walter, Goggins. Walter Goggins, who's always great. And he's great in this. I love him in this. As the ghoul is a kind of, he's actually been around for hundreds of years. They just, just still haven't quite got into how and why. But yeah. he's he, he, like, he was, uh, he's, uh, he's introduced at the very first scene of the show. Right. 
and, and then you then you realize yes, it's the same person it's 200, person. 215 yeah, years exactly. later. He looks a little bit different. He's got his nose mm -hmm. cut off. And something something happened, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's now kind of a bounty hunter, um, badass bounty hunter. It's, this is very kind of Western style show, and they all kind of intertwine because there's a scientist who everybody wants to get the hands off, whose hands on's got something that I guess that could change the face of the world as we know it. And now those three parties now come interacting together. Uh, very quirky show, um, offbeat. Funny, cool action, looks great, but God dang, this is so enjoyable. I'm really digging this one a lot. I got, I got, I'm actually seen like six episodes because I saw the first two in the theater on Monday. So I was already ahead of the game. They released it. Lucky episode. bastard. So by, yeah, so by that time, I could watch four and I'm already at six, right? Um, and the six episodes is really cool. really takes a showing you, okay, how things, they, how, how they got to where they are for the most part, right? And what, you know, really kind of unveiling who's behind the curtain, kind of. There's not totally, but most enough because it really focuses on the ghoul, who I think is the best character. He's great in it. But it's a good fun show. I'm surprised, man. I didn't think I'd be featuring this one. I thought I'd be okay, cool, whatever. I don't know what the game is, whatever. We've seen his post-apocalyptic shows a thousand times. I get it. But it's funny, man. It's, it's unique in how to the presentation, man. I really enjoy the cool characters. So I'm digging it, man. Chewy? Yeah, I mean, uh, I definitely must watch for me. I was looking forward to this uh, for when I heard it was coming out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Prime has dipped their toe into the fantasy realm. Obviously, Lord of the Rings. And some other sci-fi sci shows we've seen, some have worked, some have not. Some were look good and got canceled because pandemic kind of screwed things up for and that respect for everybody. Sure. But this was definitely, yeah. I've never played the video game, so you know I know of the imagery because obviously the that thumbs up dude, you know, you've oh, seen yeah, him in, yeah. in pop culture here and there and stuff. So, but, uh, and that interesting story, you know, uh, how that came about. Uh, also, <laughs> how that's related to where we see that in the first scene as well but um no man really good i mean really offbeat and quirky and and its use of of tone and music yes, uh because yes, it yeah. uses a lot of because obviously the, the the we think this is it's you know when we first see this opening scene we think it's 50s or 60s or somewhere there about and a lot of the music that they play it you know we got some bing crosby we get some frank sinatra we get we get some music of that era as they weave the story together, right? And so that's that's a kind of sets the plate of okay, this is where things were at one point, and obviously not so much now. And we'll get we're getting more and more bits of bits information. Uh, we're getting some more, a little bit more flashback action, not not inundated with you know, oh, here's a whole episode of how everything happened, but we're getting these clues, right, right. of things and the conversations, how to say what what's going on. But uh, very very well made, very. I, you know, for me, it's a great show. It's 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 so enjoyable. Uh, the action sequences, yeah, like you said, the shootouts and everything, like Western style. And it's right? graphic. You, it's, yeah, no, no, it's, it's a lot of graphic. That this is like the boys level. Well, close to boys level graphic or more in vein of that. Well, I mean, we I mean, have it's we, popping we, we out got, blood everywhere. I mean, it's coming. Yeah, it's awesome. we got I love it, he, he crushes the guy's head with with his mechanized oh, right. thing. Yeah, um, mountain um, viperish. He, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not sure he, he he meant to do that, but obviously no, he's in this no. mechanized suit. No, so yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's um, very graphic. But the shootouts way, definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and obviously we get these the, these monsters, and we get lots of Easter eggs in the video games. The two headed cow is something that keeps popping up in, in a few episodes, and that's I think well, a big yeah, even yeah, big Max, thing for that. Maximus yeah, story. Yes, yeah, uh, had a get together last night, and some guy was big gamer. He played the game. We'll talk about the show. And and I, and I asked him, hey, is this part of the game? He's like, not really. Like I said, it's just this, they take things from the game, but whatever. But it's not really at all, right? And he said that uh, it's funny. He mentioned um, Maximus' story as a little kid in the refrigerator. And I'm, and I'm going to spoil it. I'll leave it at that. That's actually a side quest in one of the video games. One of the, oh, okay. Story. Yeah. Well, like, well, the, like I said, I mean, yeah. I mean the story is different. This, this but I mean, is just a, the idea of it was there. The yeah. Last of Us is really a story around the video game. Yes. Right. I mean, yes. so the game itself is a story, right? And how you progress and, 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 and save yeah. Ellie. Correct. Right. This was just taking the basis of the game and creating a world and a show around it. So mm -hmm. it's not like it's, if you're trying to do quests as, as it is with the game. That's going to be elements, those side things, Easter eggs that are in the game and you recognize, but it, it wasn't meant to be. It's, you know, this is not like, you know, like for example, um, you know, uh, Metal Gear Solid, where there's a story, a, a spy story weaved into that video game. Mm -hmm. Do these tasks, and you could you can easily translate that into a show because it does follow an A to to B type of linear storytelling. Fallout was never never meant. To, it's like saying 
you know, make your, you know, make uh, Call of Duty a video game. But it's not. It's just, it's a first person shooter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the story elements. There's a story, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's a, but but it's, but it's different, right? Yeah. Where it's not the key piece <laughs> of the game. Right. Correct. But uh, yeah, like I said, the characters are enjoyable. The story is very, very good. Yeah. It's um, back. So back it. Yeah. Like it. It's yeah. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, problem. I mean, we, we come across these, these people, especially in the wastelands, are just either, either not mentally there or you're not really sure. <laughs> yeah, it has this kind of like a Mad Max, you know, yes. at least a second yes. vibe to it, you know, because what would society be like without, you know, their resources, right? And this is what it's going to be like, right? Well, that resources and... where, you, well, yeah, I mean, you get these outposts that where you're trading like for <clears throat> Coke, uh, Coke uh, for bottle caps. Right, that's right. The, that's the money, that's I guess. Right, I guess. Yeah, right. yeah. And so everything is—it's a barter system, right? Because yeah. you've essentially eliminated society and had to, and you're starting over essentially, okay. right? So you get no government, in there. no exactly. rules, no police. Okay, how does society progress? You know, trade like speak, it. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then the girl Lucy, who now she she's not used to it. She just knows she she know what the hell. Well, she's used to her, 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 her. I mean, she, her goal is always to help populate the earth, right? Yeah. Or, Reestablish society, but they've been they've been sequestered underneath, and so they have their own morality and sets of rules. But like uh, you know, but she has to adjust to this this reality, right? Just and a so, whole new world, <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally. yeah, yeah. It's funny, but they, I would say that they did. Sex is very casual, I guess, in the vaults. Apparently, even amongst well, people. I mean, even it, amongst family members. But uh, it was funny how they said uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> they have to like go because there's different vaults all over. They got neighbor vaults and have to like well, the, well, marry each other off in those vaults. According, according to, this, to this story, there's only three. <laughs> right. 31, 32, 33. At least because that, right, we finally got that in episode right. three where they had a little bit There are more. I mean, yeah, there's not. Oh, there are. Okay. But there, there's, there are more. They well, these, get into these three are interconnected sure. because they're neighbors for each other. So they kind of help each other, but they're still seg still segregated. Right, 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 right. And so, and so, yeah, yeah, you know, so, uh, um, Population, repopulation is, is a big, is a big piece of that, right? So being, being able to uh, viably, you know, produce offspring that are not, you know, genetically different. So you're not creating sick, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> mutations that are like, you know, inbreeding, right? You right. can't have that. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like the, the so well you, you got to keep a gene, a gene diversity in order to, in order to, to be thriving at some point. Exactly. So that, that I found that interesting. So this, it's a world thought out <laughs> show. It's very good. I hope it does well. I wanted to, mm -hmm. I want this to continue. Uh, I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow, but I, I'm we, well, I mean, I, I mean, like Roman is, but it's going to be read. I mean, honestly, we were concerned that we dropped at once. Right. I think our concerns have been have been overly have been dispelled without without question. Oh no, of course. Yeah. Um, and I wish this would have been a, for them better off a weekly release. I, 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 yeah, no, I don't understand yeah, who yeah. who who decided to drop. Maybe they didn't think it'd be this popular, Maybe. this good. But, but yeah. agreed. But but I think the, the rumblings are yeah. They're, they're, I mean, it's going to get renewed. I don't think it's a question. So. I mean, it's a matter but, of many. I mean, it's 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 like three body problem. We know it. We know. I think the numbers have shown that it's going to get renewed. And you know, sure. three body problem is a much more expensive show, so there's probably a little bit more trepidation with that. Versus, I mean, you know, more it's shit. It was more expensive by by twice or three by a factor of three than Game of Thrones was at the last season. And so, uh, you know, that's that's a lot of coin, dude. That's a lot of yeah, like, yeah, and that's, that's a big part. It's not who watches. It's what what is it yeah. worth it for them, right? There's a bring in. But 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 Amazon got got yeah. a big a big tax a credit for filming in California. Sure. Sure. And I think for, to film season two, so I think that's already that's already a sign. That, okay, yeah, this is moving forward, and that they just haven't formally announced it. But. Exactly. And hopefully, like I said, I think there will be season two, but it's it's really good. Definitely, you guys, you guys yeah. gotta watch it. It's a really fun show. It, like, you have to be finished with the game. Who cares? If this isn't, if you're not into that kind of gaming kind of, well, <laughs> these kind of shows, it's, again, it's quirky, it's wacky, it's an adventure show. You know, it's not for you. I get it, but if you're into stuff like shows like The Boys and other shows we see on Sci-Fi on. Um, sci-fi esque on Amazon. This is up there with them as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So very good. Very Absolutely. good. Though, man. Very, very happy to see that. I was very surprised. Uh, I came out of theater like, man, this was actually pretty good. Much better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, it's you know well. And then lucky they moved it up. So I think it was supposed to be Friday, then it was Thursday, then it was their Wednesday release. Yeah, I mean yeah, they keep yeah. moving it up, but they keep I mean, moving it up. just said, you know, let's make it weekly because they just they moving done, up right, right, right. Just, yeah, at least one episode every day or something until Friday. Whatever, right? It is what it yeah. is. Neither here nor there and the show's good regardless and hopefully it gets the it gets the the views and all that. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for this week. Next week, real quick, we'll run, give you a quick rundown of what's coming out. We got on Hulu, we got Under the Bridge, kind of a murder mystery. Lady Gladstone stars in that. We got uh, Welcome to Wrexham, of course, the reality show with um, Ryan Reynolds. Fantastic. I, I, I just read a spoiler about that, by the way. I don't want to tell me anything. 
Uh, <laughs> and then we, we, got, uh, we got Netflix. We got part two, oh, Rebel Moon. Of course, Zack Snyder's. Uh, now, purpose. there is there's some reviews out, you know, and they're saying it's okay, whatever, you know. I don't know who reviewed it. I haven't read who the review, who the critic is. And I'm not sure if they re- reviewed part one and, and coming away with this, but now a different perspective, mm-hmm. right? But it's uh, supposedly it's getting very, very good reviews for, for part two. Okay, part one. Whatever that reviews. means. Yeah, no, part okay. one did not get good reviews before. Uh, okay. They, yeah, so th- that's a good sign. We'll see. Listen, I'm going to watch it. Of course, I'm going to watch it. And so, absolutely. And then we got the Spider Way Chronicles on the 19th on, on Roku. Uh, yes. On that one. So, it's 44 shows, light week, but again, stuff to watch. But again, jump on follow if you guys haven't done that. That being said, Chewie, that's all we have for this week. Of course, always, we appreciate everybody. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, of course. And we'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace.